everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi. Today's video is going to be my candle collection. I am obsessed with buying candles. So I have some from Bath and Body Works, from Yankee Candle, from TJ Maxx, and then a few from the boutique that I work at. We carry candles there too. So I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to say the name of it, and then I'm gonna say the fragrance notes, which are on the bottom, which kind of just explain what the candle smells like. Cause you guys obviously can't smell these <laughs> through the camera. I wish you guys could, that would be really cool, but you can't. So I think that's how I'm going to do this video. So the first one that I have, I actually recently got this one and it's Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and I love it. I love pumpkin flavored things. I'm actually drinking a Starbucks pumpkin cold brew right now. This is so good, you guys. If you like cold brew and pumpkin, go try that. It's so good. But I have a ton of pumpkin candles. I think I'm gonna do my fall candles first just because it is fall season right now. Bath and Body Works came out with all their fall candles. A few weeks ago actually and so I'm just gonna start with those so like I said this one is marshmallow pumpkin latte and I just have it in the basic brown um the notes for this one is pumpkin latte toasted marshmallow praline musk with essential oils and this one smells so good I don't even know what I could like compare this to smelling like you can definitely smell the marshmallow and the pumpkin in it so if you like that, definitely this is a great one for you. But going along with the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow scent, which I love, um, I have this one, which is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I actually got this one last year. And so the packaging is a little different, but this is what that one looks like. And then, as you guys can tell, I've used a lot of it. It's almost gone. Um, the notes on this one is creamy vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and drizzled caramel. And oh my gosh, this one smells so good. This one might be one of my favorite fall ones. It's up there on the list. It smells so good. Going along with the pumpkin, um, I actually got this one last year too. But this one is caramel pumpkin swirl. And it smells very caramely. So if you like caramel, this one would be a good one for you. The notes on this one say delicious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. So you guys are gonna, like I said, see a theme. I love vanilla, I love cinnamon, brown sugar, all those kind of scents like that is what I love. So this next one I actually is my most recently bought one and it is pumpkin cupcake. I was going to get the um, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow again, but I figured I wanted to try a different one and this one smells kind of similar to it and so it just looks like this, pumpkin cupcake, has the pumpkin on it, or has a little cupcake on it which is really cute and then the notes for this one says whipped buttercream madagascar vanilla pumpkin spice freshly baked cupcake with essential oils so this one's got the vanilla in it too and i would say that this one does smell pretty similar to this one this one i think the vanilla is just more present in and so if you like the more pumpkin-y, I would go with this one. If you like more vanilla, I would go with this one. Okay, the next one that I got, I actually got at the same time as the pumpkin cupcake one. The candles, it was actually, they were $10 off and then I had a 20% off coupon. And so I got each of these for like $12, which is a pretty good deal because normally they're like $24.50, I want to say. Yep, $24.50. And so I didn't think my coupon would work with them since they were already on sale, but it did. So I was like, that's great. I'm going to get two. This one is the cinnamon Irish cream. And this one reminds me of my grandma because my grandma would always drink um, co her coffee with her Irish cream, like creamer in it. And so it reminds me of her house. But this is the packaging on this one. It's very, very fall. And I think it's super, super cute. The fragrance notes on here are cinnamon spiced liquor, Irish cream, French vanilla with essential oils. So again, cinnamon, vanilla, right up my alley. And this one smells so good. Oh, I wish you guys could smell these because I feel like me sitting here talking about them like doesn't do them justice. 
So it's a nice one I actually got last year too, but this is a classic and I know they have it this year because I was gonna rebuy it and then I was like, I think I already have it at home and I did and it's Fireside Marshmallow. Again, this is the packaging from last year, but it's just a really cute fall decor. It smells like you're at a bonfire roasting some marshmallows, but yet it has like a manly kind of scent to it. Like yeah, it smells like you're at a bonfire with a really cute boy <laughs> and he smells good. Like all those put together is what this smells like. Um, the notes in here are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. So I think the woods and the amber put together kind of make it smell kind of manly. So if you guys like those scents, kind of like flannel, stuff like that, this one would be really, really good. Okay, and then the last one that I would consider kind of folly is this one, and it's Evening Hearth. This is the one that we normally keep in the kitchen just because I feel like it's more, more of kind of like a kitcheny scent i don't really know but again it's really really cute packaging when this one's lit up it looks so pretty because you can like see the fire through all the leaves fragrance notes cedar kindling mug of warm cider cozy cashmere throw so it's just a very homey scent i would not personally burn this one in my room <laughs> but this one my mom loves like it smells really good but it's just like for one room it's a lot but like if you put it in an open area, make it smell really good. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm gonna do this one. This one I hardly ever burn because I love how the marble looks and I use it mostly as a decoration. But I have recently been burning it because I'm like, even if like the candle runs out on the inside, I can still use this little jar as a decoration. So this one is cinnamon spiced vanilla. And like I said, the outside is marble if you don't know most of the decorations in my room are marble and my room theme is white and gray as you can see and so this one just like fits in decoration perfect i also have like marble coasters and stuff like that so it just fits looks cute um but this one is basically one of my favorite candle scents it's got the vanilla it's got the cinnamon favorite scents the notes in this one is fresh room cinnamon sugar crystals Ooh, some T word with vanilla bean. I don't even know how to say that. Talidian? I don't know. This one smells like, you know when you walk into, I don't know, here we call them um, our civic center or in Fargo, it's like the Fargo Dome or like an arena and you smell the cinnamon almonds. That is what this smells like. Like, oh my god, if I just close my eyes and stuff this in, I feel like I'm at a basketball game in an arena or a football or hockey, wherever type of place you're in. Okay, next I'm going to get into like the Christmas scents because, oh my gosh, I love Christmas. And <laughs> Bath and Body Works Christmas scents are so good. So the first ones that I have, I actually have two and they are Vanilla Bean Noel. I love vanilla. How many times can I say that? And this... Oh my god, you guys, it smells so good. So my first one that I have is obviously the Christmas packaging from this year, or I guess last year now, and then same with this one. It's just like the Christmas packaging. I love how they have um, different packaging for like the same scent. So if you didn't like this one, you have this option. And I know they had some other packaging too. Um, the fragrant notes for this one is vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. So... Yeah, I'm boring. I like the same few scents in all my candles, but literally they all just smell so good. Okay, and then the next Christmas kind of one that I have is Winter Candy Apple. I actually just put this lotion on. I found one from um last Christmas probably, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to put this on. I don't, I feel like, um, very unpopular opinion, but I hate summer. <laughs> I like wearing cozy sweaters and bundling up and I love the leaves changing and I like the snow um to an extent I don't like when we have a whole bunch of snow I do live in North Dakota and it snows a lot and I actually saw online that the farmer's um almanac predicted a polar coaster winter for us <laughs> so that's a very bad winter and I'm not excited for that but yet I don't know something about being inside being all cozy drinking warm drinks having candles going, watching movies, just, I love it. So yeah, um, this one is just like an OG Christmas scent to me. Like when I think of Christmas, I think of winter candy apple and vanilla bean Noel. And this one just smells so good. 
So this is the packaging. It's very similar to the first Vanilla Bean Noel that I showed you guys. Um, this one. Fragrance notes for this one is candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. So this one is the more fruity one. Along with the Christmas ones, I did have a Twisted Peppermint, but I used that one up and then... I don't know where the jar went, but I did have that one two of the holiday and i love burning that one okay this one reminds me of a new year's and it's champagne toast i remember one year before i started youtube um youtubers got like a pr package around i think it was was it christmas or black friday i wasn't sure but they all got the champagne toast in it and i was like oh my gosh i want a champagne toast and i smelled it and i don't know i didn't really like it and i still it's kind of hard for me because it is that like really sweet scent but I was like, I'm gonna get it just because it's pink and it like matches my walls, matches my room. And so I got it kind of more as a decoration, but I have burned it. Um, this is the packaging. Again, very similar to the last ones that I showed you guys. Scents for this one is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So fruity. So these next two are the ones that when I need to relax, I burn these. And the first one is lavender vanilla. I always try to burn this. If I ever have to go to bed early because lavender helps you sleep and so I like to burn this one it smells so calming so nice um here's the packaging the bottom is just that purple and the top is like the creamish color and then it has like specks of gold all over it fragrance notes for this one is lavender blossom creamy vanilla white woods sugared musk with essential oils so yeah when I ever need to sleep or just want to feel kind of more calm I use this one and then when I really need to de-stress myself I burn stress relief this one is from the aromatherapy line it's got eucalyptus and spearmint with some essential oils this is just packaging okay so that is all my candles from bath and body works I did have leaves and flannel too but I burned those and I don't know I give the jars to my dad to clean out and then after he cleans them I don't know where they go or I don't know if he hasn't cleaned them out yet and that's why I don't know where the jars are but I did have those two and the twisted peppermint so I have those three and um yeah I don't know where they're at I'm gonna move on to Yankee Candle just because I have one so this one I actually got on I think my 18th birthday and my friends kind of got it as a joke because they're like mm, it smells like a man I'm like here you go and so it's the Moonlight one. It smells like a man. <laughs> kind of like an older man though. Like this kind of reminds me of like what my grandpa would smell like. Okay, this one I got from TJ Maxx. And this one is called Cabana. It says a hut, especially one on a beach or by a swimming pool for lounging. I love these candles in... TJ Maxx where they have the word with the definition. The brand is DW Home, just if you're curious. Basically, this one just smells like sunscreen. <laughs> it smells like you're at a pool. Very summery, very sunscreen-y, kind of sandish. I don't know. It smells really, really good. I'll probably burn this in winter when I'm like, oh my god, I need some sun. I need to smell something. I'll burn that. Like I said, I'm really not a summer person. Um, kind of the first month of summer I'm into it, but after that I'm like, give me fall, give me cold weather. Okay, so then next I have some candles from the boutique that I work at. Um, I work at Boutique 23. They have a location in Bismarck, North Dakota, and in Linton. I work in Bismarck. We did carry a candle brand from Comforting Souls. She was like a local person, but she actually went out of business. So now we carry candles from PMP Candle Co. They are all soy candles. You can get them off their website, but we just buy them like in bulk and resell them. But two of these scents that I'm going to show you guys are actually our own scents so they aren't on pmp's like website they are on ours though and i will link these ones down below for you guys so the first one is boutique 23 i'm actually we have the fragrance notes online so i'm gonna go on our website real quick and get the notes up so i can tell you guys what these scents are like what the fragrance notes are okay so boutique 23 I bet you guys can guess what this one is. Coffee, vanilla, 
and cinnamon. <laughs> so that is probably why I love it. But um, basically on our website, I don't know if it'll even, it won't show. But it says all the fragrance notes on here. So it says Boutique 23 Coffee Vanilla Cinnamon is a perfect blend of vanilla and coffee to create a homey scent. So this one smells like Starbucks. In my opinion, like you walk into Starbucks and that is what this one smells like. Also, I think these jars are really cute. But the top just says like Boutique 23 and then we have little ones. Um, we do have bigger jars too and then we have, um, I would say a jar about this size too with a rose gold top and the outside's white. Very, very cute. I don't have any of those though. I just have all the little mini jars. And then I also have JJ Strong and this one smells so good. It smells like homey but fresh. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of a store. I don't know. It reminds me of Mall of America for some reason. A store that's in Mall of America. <laughs> but I can't remember the store. Maybe once I read the description. Um, This one is cinnamon, sandalwood, and vanilla. It creates the perfect manly scent. And then this one reminded me of my mom and it's farmhouse kitchen. Don't live on a farm, but I have a house. <laughs> I don't know. This just reminded me of something she would like. Um, but it says, perfect for any kitchen, a refreshing blend of citrus and basil. So it just kind of smells like home. It smells clean. It smells like my mom just did the laundry. The windows are open. The air is coming in. It just smells really nice. Okay, and then very last, I have these two candles, which, like I said, are from Comforting Souls. She doesn't make them anymore, so, like, you can't get these. The first one I have here is Peppermint Mocha. It smells like Peppermint Mocha. <laughs> I don't really know. It's got, like, pink to white kind of ombre. Again, it's in, like, a little mason jar. I think the little mason jar ones are so cute. And then this one, I took the tag off, but it's coffee. And this one smells just like Starbucks. Honestly, these ones kind of like lost their scent. I got them probably like a year ago, so maybe that's why. And I think maybe because the top is open. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But yeah, this one was really cute. It had like little coffee beans on the top. You can kind of see them floating in there. Of course, when the candle melts, the coffee beans like, you know, move around. So that is all the candles that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, most of the time I don't buy a whole bunch of candles at once because I wanted to film like a Bath and Body Works candle haul But I just didn't really have enough for that. I had like two candles And so Easton was like you should film a candle collection and I was like that's a great idea So that's what I did. Let me know what your favorite candle scent and where you guys buy your candles down below I really want to start getting some from Yankee Candle, but literally that store I get overwhelmed with Bath and Body Works candles and Yankee Candle. The whole store is candles. So I feel like I would go in there and I'd be like, mm, I don't even know where to start. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.